everyone, welcome to the evening call of Thursday the 1st of August. Um, just as mentioned, something's gone wrong with the upload. Um, but I really want to get the evening call out, as always. I never miss a morning or evening call. And I went into quite some details, so quite frustrating that that 30 odd minute video um, has not worked as a problem with it. But I'm going to go over everything once more and in just as much, if not more, detail, just looking at it a second time. So, what we started off with was gold. Gold um, was the biggest mover today. And for anyone who doesn't know, the reason for gold moving was mainly due to President Trump tweeting about the tariffs between USA and China and implementing tariffs in September and um, basically Trump doing his normal tweeting thing. And this just shows you how manipulated this market is. Um, these things don't just happen by chance. Yesterday, the FOMC push the market down and then today tweets come out and push it all the way back up again but as we um, were aware we were in an uptrend kept explaining last week in um, sniper sundays and um, that we're aiming to come up towards this one four uh, one four three nine level um, up to here up into this highlighted level and yesterday that's why um, because i was expecting to move higher and uh, that's why well, just before the fomc meeting i explained to look for a push down which we had then we had that nice little push up just off the back of the meeting by about 40 50 pips and but then we had that push down so stop losses at break even got broken as we moved down now as explained these trend line breaks are where the most of the retail traders uh, get caught into taking a short trade and then the market moves against you so you go into profit a little bit and then next thing it reverses so um i was eyeing up for this today looking at um, possible long trades we're coming down to that 1400 level and then but we just had that last little push and then a, a quick reverse back up to the upside um, and pushing back up to try and um, retest the form of resistance and as we're in an uptrend um, I would expect this to come up and make a new high high above this level now if we just take this away we can also see that we had this trend coming across here so we just dip that little bit lower too to tap there and we just really tested that form of support so finding support there off gold and pushing up higher um, so that was the biggest move of the day of the day but tomorrow we'll be watching this as well with non-farm payroll the US dollar to see what happens here but as we are in an uptrend unless we are actually going to come to an end to the end of an uptrend then we should expect this to come up and make a new higher high now as I said unless we're not going to make a new high and this is the end of the uptrend then we could possibly have a reversal from here so interesting level to watch out for tomorrow especially with the US dollar. But at the moment, big drive for the safe haven in, um, investment of gold, given um, off the back of what President Trump has been saying. Now, USDJPY. So um, what we saw this morning was a pop above the uh, 10900 level. Um, as explained on the four hour chart, we had the evening star formation, one, two, three. And as explained, we're waiting for this candlestick here to close to confirm this evening star formation and then we had a push down we broke back down below 10900 and we haven't looked back since so um obviously this was helped massively by um, the japanese yen pushing getting stronger pushing all the way down and we're now coming down towards the 10700 level we haven't been able to break out of this sort of 200 pit region since we came into it back in uh, back at the end of uh, end of may um, so about um, about two months we've been in here now, uh, what I was explaining in my last trade was in my last video was um, lo lots of people took a short trade from here. I just want to drop down to the four hour and just explain. So, on the, uh, each day, each evening, uh, evening call and morning call, I cover ten to fifteen pairs um, and commodities. Now, along with this, um, I, I cover many, many pairs because everybody has their favourite pairs. So, all the different people in the group have some people prefer USD JPY, some prefer Euro USD, some may prefer only trade gold, some only trade oil, stuff like that. So I cover a wide range of currencies. And the main reason is because as explained, um, the you need to have a complete understanding of how things move in order to understand the market long term. For instance, if gold goes up or down, how that affects another currency. If you're only watching Euro USD, you're not understanding what affects your USD. So I cover a wide range of pairs and I explain each day 
what my market bias is, and the direction of, of each trade, of each pair, areas to look for, what to look for, and, and how to trade it. Now, on each, each day, what you need to do is take what I'm giving you on each pair, especially if it's a trade that you prefer, use that along with your own analysis and your own bias and help that to make it a trade and to add confluence. Now, as I said, there's 10, 15 different pairs here. I update on, on various pairs during the day if they pop up. But obviously, with 10 to 15 pairs, um, you have to take your own initiative to actually take some trades as well. This isn't a signal group. This isn't where um, you sit and wait for my updates only. And that's what I am very much against and why this isn't a signal group. Because the main part of trading and the bit that everybody needs to learn to actually become a successful trader is to actually make that decision. That little point of decision making as you place to trade, if you can't manage to make that on your own, you won't ever become a successful trader. Now what I mean by that is, like I explained, um, for instance with uh, USDJPY, or let's just even go to USDJPY, or uh, Euro USD. Now here, I've explained that we broke the market, I broke support here, we came down, and then this morning, I just checked over the morning call to see what was said. Um, again, as a recap, um, in the morning call, I said I'm actively looking for long trades from this level. I'm looking for the trades, I'm looking for a double bottom. I've given my market bias. You all know that I'm long, um, as we've, uh, or looking for long trades as we uh, were in a long trade and, and just got stopped out. But we all know we're looking for long trades here. Um, I've given them my market uh, bias. I've uh, continued to say that even though we've broken down, that we are looking to come higher. So I've given my market bias, I've given a di direction, I've then updated that with a sort of area here, a region for you to look for, um, for look for trades. I've updated this during the day and explained, look for dips into this area and to look to buy. And then, um, and then along with the other stuff that I teach you, which I'll go through in a minute, is where you need to be able to pick up and take a trade. So I give you the direction, I give you the market bias, I explain the reason of the market bias and why we're looking for long or short trades. I give the areas of what to look for, what to look for at those areas to, to take the trade. So the only thing you then need to do is actually look at taking a trade. And once you start understanding and start getting the confidence of taking a trade, then your your confidence will grow and grow, and you'll you'll refine that those entries even better and better. But if you wait wait, uh, wait for a buy or sell signal, this is why I'm against signal groups. If you wait for a buy or sell signal, or you wait for me to post a setup, what everybody will do is jump on an MT4 uh, or the broker and a place a buy or short trade, and you're not really taking in what I'm telling you or what I'm teaching you. You'll see a setup, you'll see something like this for instance, and you'll just jump into a buy and not really understand what we're looking for. But by holding back that last little 5%, um, explain, giving you 95% of everything you need. And for instance, explaining that I'm looking for a long trade here, explaining to look for a long trade for within, if price dips within this level, and then along with the other confluences, which I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute, that is what you need to make your decision. Um, once I've given you everything, once you can learn and gain that confidence of taking that trade and making that last little bit of a decision, that's where your trading will grow. And that's because otherwise you won't learn. And once you start making that decision to make, uh, to take that trade, then you're going to start really, really learning. If you have to wait for someone to say buy or sell, you'll never learn and you'll never advance in the market. So uh, using this as an example, as I said, Euro USD came down to this level here. Then I highlighted this level and said, look for a dip into this. Now we're majorly bearish here, but for what I'm trying to teach you, and I'm going to explain more on the next webinar about manipulation, the price has been manipulated here and pushed down. Even though we've had a big push down and we got stopped out, I continued to say that we are looking for long trades from this level. So that's the first confidence, obviously, in my experience, I'm telling you that we're looking for longs from this area and then we are going to go up. Um, then I've obviously highlighted this level and said, wait, look for a dip into this level. And then we we'll look and um, from there, we're going to look for rejections and to buy. So here you can see clear rejection on the one, on the one hour. That's the second confluence. But here, if we drop down to the 15 minute, 
Um, like what I just mentioned in the group earlier about um, flipping between different time frames, this is how you build your confluences and this is a good learning curve for you um, to, under, to build confluences on different time frames, flicking in between each one quickly to build the confluences on how to take a trade. Now on the 15 minute, what you can see here is first off, we've dipped into this level here that I've explained that dipping into this level, I'm looking at taking long trades. We've dipped into it here, and then we've had this 30 minute of oh, 15 minute bullish engulfing and creating this tweezer top formation. So we could have taken a long trade here, push up slightly, came back down, slightly negative, but we've come here and we've made a double bottom. And we've also made a double tweezer bottom. So you've got tweezer bottoms here on the 15 minute, tweezer bottoms here on the on the 15 minute. So first off, we know that we're looking for longs because I've explained why. Secondly, we're in this highlighted region and we've rejected this level. Um, so that's the second confluence to look for the for the long trade. Third confluence is see, we can see here we've got the double bottom formation here. One, two. Fourth confluence, we've seen tweezer bottoms, tweezer bottoms. Um, then fifth confluence, morning star formation. One, two, three. But this morning star formation on the on the 15 minute chart. Then what we need to do is also flick out to the 30 minute chart. Then we can see on the 30 minute chart, we've got a, a 30 minute bullish engulfing. So I think that's confluence number five. Then we jump out to the one hour chart, keep flicking in between these one hour, 30 minute, 15 minute. So you can see 15 minute double bottom. Okay, morning star formation, looks good. What do we see on the 30 minute? 30 minute we see a bullish engulfing, tweezer bottom and a double bottom here as well. So that's a good confl uh, confl confl confluence, uh, five or six confluences. So then we can look at taking long trades and from here we can take a long trade from, from these levels and look at coming higher. Um, then we've obviously pushed up higher, we jump out to the one hour, we see this bullish engulfing, engulfing the previous one, two, three. Clearly see here we've rejected that, that region that we've dipped into, now pushing up higher we can take a trade from there. There's about five or six different confluences there along with the confluence of what I'm telling you the why to take the trade and that we are looking at coming up and then obviously on the four hour we've got even stronger with a four hour bu uh, bullish engulfing so you can see there um loads of you did get a, a, loads of you took a long trade from this which was great to see um i did then mention that i was hoping to see a pullback from this level but we didn't look back and we just kept pushing higher I was thinking that we might come back and get a little bit of a push back into these levels but we pushed up higher now i am looking for um put, uh, long trades on this uh, again, if we pull back down from here into this region, but stop losses at break even for all those who have taken this trade at this level here. Stop loss at break even because tomorrow is the non farm payroll, so we may just see a short lived push up to the upside. It's very important to see whether we actually close above this weekly resistance level. Now, if I drop back out to the daily, you can see there that we pushed through this support level yesterday, absolutely looked like death. When you know, this big bearish candle here, then today's big bearish candle, scaring everybody out of the market. Any long trades were in here, squeezing everybody out. And then this is why I was looking for a reversal from this level. Then we've hit this level and we've pushed back up. And you can see if you took a long trade from that region, how what your sniper entry would be like, right at the bottom of the daily candle. Now tomorrow we might have a bullish candle, which if we have a bullish candle and close above the weekly resistance of 1.110, then we will have a morning star formation on a daily chart. And the weekly chart will also close above this level, which will show that this level will hold on the weekly chart once again, and we could be in for reversal, possibly catching EURUSD at the very, very bottom. However, life doesn't go out that easy, does it? Tomorrow is um, non-farm payroll. So let's have a look. Very nice four-hour bullish engulfing here. Do expect to pull back at some point tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be looking at pullbacks into this region, um, into this sort of region down here. And if we reject this again, it will give more opportunity to take long trades. So I will be watching out for more pullbacks on this next uh, to tomorrow on the news pulling back into this level, then possibly pushing up higher. So keep an eye on that. But there you can see by using what I give you each day, along with your own trading um, and along with what you're being taught, that's how you to, to take these trades. Because I'm covering, as I said, many, many pairs. 
So you have to take some initiative um, also. So on G Euro GBP, what we can see here is a bit choppy here on Euro, Euro GBP. Um, we've come all the way up to these highs, resting on support of 0 0.9100. And at the moment, not, not giving us much on the daily, but on the four hour, you can see we're having a little bit of a pull back up. Looking at the Fibonacci here, we are rejecting the 61.8% at the moment, one, two perhaps causing a tweezer top formation with this four hour candle, we'll have to see how this closes. Drop down to the one hour, you can see we're starting to find some resistance here, which is also for more support over here. So, I am keeping an eye on this tomorrow. We do, we have been very erratic with the pound. The pound is very, very weak, so there is still option for this to come up even higher, up into sort of these regions here. So I'm going to be watching this tomorrow, but keep an eye out for this pair tomorrow. Um, we are finding resistance here at that 61.8% level. So keep an eye on this pair tomorrow, and I will update on this one um, as the pound is quite choppy. Euro AUD. Um, so I, I highlighted this this morning. Mentioned that we had this sort of um, range that we were in, and even though we saw a breakout of this range today, I didn't update because I wasn't convinced so obviously we look at we were in long trades from here originally a couple of weeks ago or last week we pushed up hit resistance so we're expecting some resistance from that we pushed down but we started pushing down very quickly today um, and then on this breakout I was waiting to see how price reacted and this is again something that you need to know and quite a good learn, uh, learning curve for you is you know the box that I show you on a trend so if we have a trend like this, and then price pushes down and has and has a fake out, you know the box that we use to highlight that breakout. Well, that can also be used on this uh, type of situation, which I'm going to show you now. When you're in a range like this, so you can see here we found a high, found some support here. We've got this previous resistance, resistance support. See this four hour breakout here, you can highlight that breakout candle and then we drop down to the, to the one hour chart and we wait for a breakout on the one hour chart, let me just turn it into red, we wait for a breakout on the one hour chart in order to continue to trend down but we, if we don't we can um, highlight this and this becomes a fake out so you can see we've had this push down then we've had another push down double bottom one, two, three, morning star formation, pushed up, rejected it, came down, and then bang, we went up higher. So what we're seeing here is this is in fact just a retracement. And that is why on this, let me just move this out of the way. You can see here, this is also a flag pattern that we can see here. So we can see here that we were just having a retracement. So obviously we're looking at, we were long from on Euro AED from last week, from down at these levels. And then here we've just had a retracement back down before the next move higher. So we're in this, in this trend. Now the reason we look at short trades here, which is a head trade from the long from the long trade down here, a hedge trade, the rules behind this, which I'll go over in another webinar, which will be coming up soon, is taking a short trade here, then when we drop 100 pips and take 50% out of the market, you've made 50% on 100 pips. Stop losses at break even. So now if we continue to push lower, um, we make money from this 50%. If we continue to push, uh, but if we push higher and get stop that break even like we have here then the percentage that you have running on this trade down here that you still have running continues to make money so now this long trade that you had from down it is still running that you had from down here this is now more profit but with the hedge trade you've made some profit on the pullback rather than just letting your money push back down and, and uh, decrease and then increase without any making money on the decrease but we will cover more of that on the webinar. That's going to be a very special webinar, which will change your trading um, coming up. So currently, we made a new high. Um, 
we have uh, just made a new higher high on this on this trend we have lots of upside potential on this we've kind of broken out of this head and shoulders formation and we could push up and come back up to 1.6400 and even higher so keeping an eye on this um, over the next few days euro nzd another tricky one uh, we had a nice push down yesterday then it took us out at break even then pushed down once again and we're being quite choppy quite simply just draw in a nice range here you see this resistance then we find resistance come back retest form resistance at support now we're at the top of this level watching er watching this around this level here tomorrow see we may have um, short trade opportunities um, but uh, yeah we're keeping an eye on this but we could have a nice short coming up here if we fail to break out from the top so watch out for that tomorrow I'll update in the morning but keep an eye on that GPP JPY um, remember this inner trend line we had here we've broken through that absolutely smashed through it with the Japanese yen strength we're now coming out to that outer trend line remember I told you uh, we're showing you this on Sniper Sundays so this is the area I'm very very interested in with GPP JPY we could be in for a very nice reversal from around these levels so I'll be keeping an eye out for that GBP USD again if you look back on my morning call this is exactly what I'm explaining about by using what I'm telling you along with your market bias um, but and along with what I'm teaching you in order to take trades so, so this morning I explained to watch out for a dip lower below this range to watch out for a fake out just as we had a fake out here with this with this price action here just as we had a fake out here I explained to watch out for a fake out here so many of you very 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 good trades some people just said they were waiting all day for this and took the trade which is great to see so we had that break at that dip lower and then um, people took the trade so we'll build our confidence on this one again uh, and just go through it so confidence one is obviously I'm telling you that I'm expecting price to dip into this sort of level and then to look for trades. Then on price action, let's start building the confidences. So from the 15 minute chart, first off, had a push up, fell to break up resistance, come back down, then we've made a double bottom here. So we can find that, see that we found support. So once this push down here, let's get rid of this for a minute. Once we had this initial push down, push down here, we marked that as support. You can see here now, found support, pushed back up, came back down, found support, found support, found support. Three pin drive to the uh, three pin is a, uh, is a good sign of a reversal. We've got one, two, three. So that means we've got a double bottom. This bottom with this bottom means a double bottom. But this bottom here, the second double uh, of uh, the second point of the double bottom, is on the 15 minute candle stick or candle or chart is one, two, three. Morning star formation, bullish engulfing, pin bar, bullish engulfing, reversal sign. So here is a good place to look uh, to take a long trade. Um, but that's confluence. So the second confluence after me, obviously pointing out the direction and the bias. Second confluence is double bottom. Third confluence, morning star formation. 30 minute chart, let's see what we look at. 30 minute chart, also morning star formation, looking strong. And we've got this nice pin bar here. Um, so fourth confluence. One hour chart, we've got this really strong pin bar here. Hardly any wick at the top. Bullish pin bar, fifth confluence. Then we go to the four hour. We've obviously had this four hour bullish engulfing and we're pushing up higher. Now, many of you got the trade from down here, from this highlighted zone. See this manipulation and uh, this fake out to the downside? That's where we get these sniper entries and know how the market works. But to know how the market works, you've got to look at all pairs, which is why I highlight them to you. It's all a process that over time, you're learning more and more and more, and you're going to uh, really understand the whole concept of how to trade. And so you can use this strategy and you understand the, the market and use any uh, use it on any currency, any commodity, and understanding the manip manipulation behind the markets. So here you can see we've had a push up higher. Um, we have come back down. I was expecting to come back down and retest the low of this range again. And from here, now I'll be watching. We've got a sort of a left shoulder here. We've got a head and a possibly right shoulder um, forming. So an inverse head and shoulders. We
we do have um, we do have US dollar news tomorrow so stop losses at break even on people who have taken this trade however um, people who haven't taken this trade what we are looking out for now is a rejection of where of this level as I just said we're rejecting a 61.8 percent trend line um, rejection from here seeing that seeing the price action seeing the confidences in order to take a trade from this level so you can see here we're starting to build them again rejection of this 61.8 percent level um, but we'll pick up from this in the morning and see how this acts remember we have got non-farm payroll so we need to keep that in mind um, but again as I said from this morning highlighting to look for taking a long trades from this level and then you can just see here on price action how we've had one two we had the lovely price action in order to look at taking that long trade so identifying the range identifying the breakout to the upside to the downside and then being able to uh, take the trades GPP CAD we're actually just moving sideways here not too interested in this at the moment fake spikes to the upside none to the downside just with yet but at the moment you can just see they're just ranging so nothing too um, exciting about that right now USD JPY we covered we'll be watching this price around the bottom US dollar showing signs of weakness at the moment coming into tomorrow's non-farm payroll non uh, weakness on the US dollar would see pairs like USD uh, Euro USD GBP USD all push back up higher which I think is the most likely thing going to happen but we'll see tomorrow USD CAD um, again if you checked uh, the morning call I explained we have just broken above here that we were going to go higher with this stated in the morning call that we're going to come up and hit 1.32500 500. we came up and hit 1.3247 so not far off now since then we've been a bit choppy we've actually come back down from the highs retested the support here you can see resistance resistance and come back at testing that support and now trying to push up higher um, going to keep an eye on this tomorrow it's still it's a bit choppy as you can see four hour we do look quite uh, we do look like we may push down we've had a four hour bearish engulfing and um, we've had a bit of a shooting star so there might be a nice trade on this tomorrow we've got some CAD news tomorrow along with non-farm payroll but I'll be keeping a lookout for a possible short setup from here Aussie dollar Aussie dollars in free fall at the moment keeping an eye on this so this morning um, I explained I drop down to the one hour to look for a, uh, a long trade from this level here and this shows you again so I was looking for this inverse head and shoulders level we came down tapped that level if we took one two three morning star formation on the fifth, 30 minute we took that trade then you would have been 30 40 pips up from here and then as always stop loss at break even then Trump came out with the news and we broke down even lower once again Aussie dollars in free fall and we got retail news out in a couple of hours for Aussie dollar so you have to see how that um, makes this uh, the Aussie dollar react at the moment we are pushing down um, very very far we got this spike down lower that we had in December 2018 but before that the next uh, lower level um, now we'd be looking back in 2009 these regions here back in 2009 so um, interesting times for all pairs interesting to see whether you uh, euros the euro sorry the US dollar can actually weaken and push this back up and um, very very interesting for all pairs like euro US dollar GBP USD and Aussie dollar because we are so low with these pairs now because the dollar is at um, at two year highs so very very strong we need to see are we going to weaken tomorrow on the back of the non-farm payroll or is the US dollar going to get even stronger now um, New Zealand dollar quite similar um, quite choppy so here we're still holding this trade had the nice break above one, uh, 0 0.6565 but this is just really really choppy and just playing around at the moment broke above looked like set to come back up and retest this trend line then we push back down We've got this nice little trend line on here, keeping an eye on this. We can find some rejection in this. Touch one, touch two, third touch of the trend line, which as I said is the um, strongest. Um, the make or break whether we're going to bounce from this level and push up higher. This is where it's going to happen from. So we need to see if we can find the catalyst to push off that. We may break down and retest this support level once more, but still looking for New Zealand dollar to come higher. 
even though we're in this uh, sort of choppy range at the moment. Gold, I've just run over, and US oil. US oil falling from that level um, as, as stated yesterday. Now let's just run over this. So again, lots of you took your, the trade on this, lots of you are oil traders, and me highlighting this gave you the bias or gave, and gave you the extra confidence to take this trade. So on the daily here, A, B, C, C retracement to the 61.8% level. Drop down to the four hour. Now if you don't take this trade, don't worry about it because yesterday it was dangerous. It's very, very dangerous to take a short trade from up here yesterday at the top when uh, just before the FOMC meeting. So I was expecting a little push up to the upside to take a short trade, try and take out. What I meant by that is, as you can see here, this candlestick here, see how we pushed above this candlestick? We pushed above these candlesticks here. We had that last little push up, then we pulled down. Um, for our bearish engulfing, but with this pin bar here, it did look like we might make another push up to the upside, a double top. But price broke down, and on the back of uh, President Trump tweets and so on, we have pushed down much lower. Now, if you go back to my Sniper Sundays, remember I made that sort of a, quite a bold, bold call of uh, oil coming back down to the 50 $51 dollar region. Well, we're back down to 54 from 58, so it's about 400 pips down already. Now, I will be watching to see if this continues to come down lower. We have broken this flag formation, which I was pointing out on the Sniper Sundays as well. You see this sort of counter trend here, and this flag. This is why these flags are very, very useful. We'll go over these in a webinar as well, um, specifically, and how to trade them. But you see here, we've got the, uh, the rejection at the top of this channel. This is where we're looking for, and that's where many of you got your short trade from there. So remember, guys, um, from trades that you don't take, this group is as, mu as much about learning as it is about actually placing trades. The money and the trades will come. It's about gaining the knowledge and learning first. So that's what we're here for, to learn how to trade, learn how to understand the market, learn how it works, learn the structure, and then the trades will come. Too many people want to run before they can walk, unfortunately. Um, so what a lot of people want to do is jump in, start playing in, uh, placing high leverage trades, not using risk management, and uh, when they don't really know what they're doing. But really, what we want here in this community is to build a, uh, a group of uh, a community where everybody is highly intelligent on how the market works and how market structure works, how to gain entries, but it doesn't come overnight. There's lots and lots to, to it. Um, and that's what I'm explaining to you on a daily daily basis so um, as I said here that gives you a nice setup to learn from that Fibonacci having the patience for this to push up higher 61.8 percent into that region flag pattern giving us a second confidence to um, reject in here on the top of this channel and then we push down so um, nice nice setup there and a nice trade um, that's it for tonight. I will catch up with you tomorrow. This is just a dollar index. We had that break above. Is that going to be a fake out before pulling back down with the, a weaker US dollar tomorrow on the non-farm payroll? Who knows? Could be a big manipulation spike there yesterday and today. We'll keep an eye on this. Update you tomorrow. Be alert. We've got Aussie dollar news in a couple of hours, which is retail sales. And then we've got the non-farm payroll tomorrow. So lots to look forward to again. And yeah, I'll be monitoring this and I'll update in the morning and see what happens during the night. So I'll speak to you in the morning. Thank you and good night.